At what age did you first hear the word climate change? Climate change. Climate change. Climate change. As a millennial, I heard the word in my first year of college. But my niece, who is a Gen Z, on the other hand, has already done enough assignments on the topic even before passing out of high school. Today, even though millennials and Generation Z are known for being highly engaged with climate change issues, it is the next generation that is being born and will be raised in the thick of things. For children born from 2010 to 2025, also referred to as Generation Alpha, climate change isn't a looming threat. This generation has inherited a world that has, in fact, completely changed due to human-driven emissions. Moreover, Generation Alpha will also be the largest generation in history, an estimated 2 billion people by 2025. For Generation Alpha, it is an inheritance of profound loss. 2024 is set to be the hottest year on record. Torrential rain. Hundreds, possibly thousands are feared dead. The passing decade, 2015 to 2024, is on track to be the hottest in the past 175 years. For 16 consecutive months since June 2023, global mean temperatures have exceeded temperature records before 2023. Look at this graph. It shows annual global mean temperature anomalies from 1850 to 2024 from six datasets. In all six datasets, it's evident that the temperature rise has been unprecedented. 2024 is well on its way to becoming the hottest year since the pre-industrial period and the first to cross the warming threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Repeated crossing of the 1.5 degree Celsius threshold will bring the planet closer to the critical barrier. 2024 might just be the point that divides the pre and post climate change eras. Now the question arises, why temperatures are rising? 2024's record heat is partly fueled by the El Nino, a natural climate pattern that warms the Pacific Ocean. But El Nino isn't the only culprit. Decades of rising greenhouse gas emissions have set the stage for extreme heat. How is all this going to impact the Generation Alpha? Most people in Generation Alpha have already spent half their lives on an unprecedentedly hot planet, some since birth. According to the 2023 report of the Lancet Countdown on Health and Climate Change, between 2019 and 2023, people were exposed on an average to 46 more days of health-threatening heat than would have been expected without climate change, a value that reached a record high of 50 more days in 2023. Another report, World Cities Report 2024, Cities and Climate Action, released by UN Habitat, suggests that almost no urban resident will be unaffected with billions of people subjected to hotter temperatures or exposed to risks of flooding and other threats. Even oceans aren't spared. We also need to understand the connection between ocean heat and extreme weather. The State of the Climate 2024 report says between 2005 and 2023, the ocean absorbed an average approximately 3.1 million terawatt hours of heat. This is more than 18 times the world's energy consumption in 2023. According to the Clausius clapeyron equation, for every one degree rise in global average temperature, there would be a 7% rise in atmospheric moisture levels. The impacts of this are evidenced by recent extreme weather events around the world. These include catastrophic floods, hurricanes, cyclones, torrential rains and others. If we take the case of India, let's look at this graph. It shows day-wise extreme weather events in India in the first nine months of 2024. 255 days of extreme weather events out of 274 days. Last year, the numbers were lower at 235 days for the same period. In terms of loss, 3,238 people lost their lives due to such events in 2024, compared to 2,755 in 2022, a rise of 18% in just three years. So what does the future hold? In 2024, carbon dioxide emissions are expected to be 52% higher than pre-industrial levels. 
the 2024 global carbon budget warns that at current rates, we'll exhaust the carbon budget for 1.5 degrees Celsius in just six years. Even the two degrees Celsius limit could be breached within 27 years. For Generation Alpha, this means living with higher sea levels, more extreme weather and shrinking chances of turning things around. So the final question is, can we act in time to give them a chance for a safer future or test their survival as we witness greater losses?